so the eagle has finally arrived. And um, yesterday, I had to look up a phone. Surprisingly, I didn't know somebody was going to surprise me with a phone today for my birthday. And I have, um, wow, Samsung bots. Yes. Wow. I've been waiting for this moment actually. And I plan to buy small or what is lower end phones. And yes, surprisingly, it's someone special. With name withheld, decided to surprise me with the um, Samsung A51. And to just top it up again with the earboards, that Samsung boards plus. Wow. I'm sure you'll be wondering who is this person? As you can see, I have only one special somebody. So first of all this is not sponsored by Slots, it's just I guess a random order. And yeah we can do it with, with a bag gone. So I feel it's important I tell you a little story about my mobile phones and the reason I had to get this new phone which I'm super excited about is that um, on my trip to Kenya I happened to damage the screen of my phone. Yeah I had one iPhone which survived the trip and this one which was kind of supporting that phone cracked. I had a crack on the screen if you look closely you would see a little crack just across and that means everything below couldn't work. I couldn't type my password, which was just pretty useless. And pre since it's an old phone, there is no point actually changing the screen. It's not even worth it in any way. So the only thing you could hope for is just get your data out and just put the phone away, apparently. It still works, comes on, but what's the point? So I felt I needed a phone for about two, three months just to sustain me before I get a better phone. And something came to my mind because Someone asked me to get a phone and said T310 was okay, so um, T Verney T3 Pro, which I did, and it was really cheap. So I thought, okay, why can't just I buy the same phone that's Verney T3 Pro? You know, buy it, just use it for the main time before I get a better one. And there comes the Verney. Pretty much, I can't say anything much about this phone because I bought what I deserve. It's pretty cheap, less than 30,000 Naira, and I thought I could just receive call, do some Twitter once in a while, and let it go by two months, which should be fine. And based on the review from the person I bought it for, which used it basically for phone calls and rarely WhatsApp, so I think it's just perfect for that. It won't hurt the phone. But the, by the time a hash user like me handles this phone, it is suicidal for the phone actually. I pretty much killed the phone. So the main idea is this. Um, the camera is pretty basic, not fantastic. Um, like I said, you bought what you paid for. And I won't ask for too much from the phone based on the price. Um, the sensor works pretty well, but sometimes it vibrates before it unlocks. And no doubt, after like three vibes of censoring, then it unlocks. Well, it's pretty much decent for what I asked for, actually. At the same time, the displays is pretty much fair. The only big challenge is you need some gloves, like a radiator or some gloves to use this phone. It heats up crazily, especially when you're hotspotting and you're using the internet on it at the same time. You could break your, you could actually microwave your hand. You could use it to microwave, microwave your food. All you just need is to place the food on it and turn on your hotspot, charge it at the same time. Food is ready. Make noodles once in a while, it could work. Um, so, like I said, I, I needed it for just a while, but I couldn't change the phone somehow because another project came up. I had to do something else and I was not ready to buy a phone at that time. Sadly, or luckily, there was COVID pandemic and I've been a teacher, I had to work from home. I couldn't have contact with most of the children. And this phone became my modem. It became my hotspots. And the other phone too kind of alternated, but I kind of use this for the hotspot often. And you know what happened? Always hitting up and charging. Instead of it to charging is to charge is discharging and 
as usual, it's always eating up. I had to charge it all night to make sure that it's full because it's going to, by the time I start using it in the day, it starts discharging while I'm charging it almost to the end and it's really heating up. Sometimes I get worried that it's going to pop sometimes. So I'm always placing it on sachet water like to cool it down with AC on, with everything. I couldn't go and get out to get something new. I just had to make do with it. But I must thank the product for a reason because without the product in any ways, I would have not been able to fulfill my duty till the end of July where he died finally. I'll tell you how he died. I was using it to record some things and the camera got, I think the memory got maxed, really short memory, I can't remember. It short, got maxed and what happened? It didn't come on, it started restarting over and over. And I felt I could save it by using safe mode. I did for a while. What happened again? Um, it came on, then the battery died. And since that moment, it never came on again. It's been off. I've been to a repairer because I had so much information on it. Just to save the data. And they all said the panel is working, the battery is fine, it's charging. But what's the point if it's charging and it can't come on? It just died, as in literally died. And that's it, the end of it. So I went back to my iPhone, which is the like ancestor of all my phones. So I went back to it, and that has been what has been sustaining me before this new kid in the block. So, so this is the new phone, and it's time to do the unboxing. Flipping around, um, there's this little label I will try to take it um, Something about me is I try to save it, but let's just do the breaking and have it. And here you go. So it's time to do the breaking of the seal. And um, you can see Come on, be nice. Okay, done deal. So let's see what you have inside. Ah, here you go. I think I opened it the wrong way. You've got my little headset there. I've got my charger. Interestingly, I have, um, it's a type C here and I have also the 15 watts charger, so really fast charging. Dun 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 dun. Drum rolls, please. Dun 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 dun. So this is the Samsung Galaxy A51. So I got the blue case. They said they've got only white and blue. As at the time, I they were about to make the delivery, and I think the lovely black cover and the the silk case is really, really charming. Feels good to have this in the helm. Very lovely. Interesting. Do we have other things that I'm not going to read inside? Um, let me see. What have I got inside again? Oh, I think I've got protector, the screen guard, the pin. Uh, let's see what's inside. Okay, I've got a screen case, kind of a protector to protect it from, this is for the back, like a case. I think it's a thing we all like to have to protect against um, scratch and all that. Um, I think that's it, empty. Now that the unboxing has been done, we have the phone. The Samsung Galaxy A51. Actually, we wanted to get an A50, but it was out of stock on on slots, so we had to go for the A51. So this, like I said earlier, it's just to protect the back against scratches and all that. I still need to get um, a cover, like a Gorilla. Um, what do they call those screen protectors, just to give it another extra layer. This is my 15 watt charger, and you can see, yes, a fast charging app brightly, deliver the high current to your phone 
so it could charge. And um, the headsets, pretty fair enough. Um, you have your headset inside, intact. I won't lie to you, most places where you buy phones, you might not find this in it. You might have been removed. So, I think that's a plus. The slots that you have your headset still intact. It's just a regular and um, Samsung headset actually, but I'm sure it's going to do a lot better than what you buy out on the streets. You have a Type C USB, which we all know for. You can actually go wrong using this. <clears throat> you can't go wrong using this because whichever direction you slot in your your phone, um, you're fine. You can short circuit anyway. So it's I think it's a very good develop. So you don't have to worry <clears throat> while sleeping. You could just slot in your USB anyhow, and you're fine that your phone is safe. You're not damaging the charging port or even breaking the phone. So those are the basic things we have found in the phone, the unboxing episode today. We will also talk about the functions and just the differences I've noticed in my old phone and this one. So this is the way it looks outside the box. I'm about to take off the first layer, that's the wrapper around it, so we can have the phone revealed. okay so looking at this you can see the sleek body and the ultra wide screen i'm about to have the first boot and that's it the very first boot of the phone i guess it should take a while for it to set up as usual in the next video i would like to show you how the old boot setup is being configured. I'll run you through all of that. At the same time, I will share the specifications, the OS, the RAM, the memory, and all those specifications. Please remember to subscribe, like, and turn on the notifications. And join us next time in our session. Thank you.